Right, brothers and sisters, a lot of you have been asking for this. This is how to make a bow bun. Follow me. They just look so good, don't they? Like, they're the ultimate bite. They're so tasty. And if you want more recipes like this, then make sure you subscribe to the channel. Right, first up. Now, it starts with 250 grams of plain flour. Two teaspoons of fast activating yeast. A pinch of salt. Two tablespoons of sugar. Okay, that's the dry ingredients done. I'm just gonna get them into this mixing bowl here. And then I'm gonna get it onto my mixer. And then I'm just gonna quickly mix all those together. Just needs a quick razz. Now let's get the wet ingredients in there. I need two tablespoons of sunflower oil. And then I need milk. Now, I've got about 250 mils of slightly warmed milk. Don't use milk straight out of the fridge. You don't want to mess with the activation of the yeast. The yeast needs some warmth in there, right? And cold milk just wouldn't help. So 250 mils of slightly warmed milk or milk at room temperature. I'm gonna slowly add that in as we're mixing everything. When it's come together in this bowl, then it's time to take it out and put it onto a dusted surface. So what we've got is a slightly sticky dough that just needs to be worked on a slightly dusted surfaces just to bring it together and knead it a bit more. What I'm doing now is I'm just slightly oiling this bowl and then I'm going to put the dough into it so it can prove and it needs to prove for two hours. So get that guy in there and then I'm just going to get a cloth, I'm going to dampen it put it on and leave it for two hours. Okay, so that has been in there for two hours now and it's doubled in size and it's a lot lighter. It's nice and bouncy to the touch. Now we're gonna put it down onto a floured surface and roll it out into a long snake shape. It's a bit dramatic, wasn't it? Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut these into nice, big, fat, two-inch chunks to roll out. Right, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these balls like this and I'm just going to roll them in my hands and just bring them into a nice, plump, sort of round ball, like that. Right, now what I've got to do is I've just got to pin these out with a rolling pin. Just going to roll them out into that sort of nice oval shape and then I fold them over. Like this. So you don't want to get them too thin, you need to get them just right. So that thickness there is perfect. It's about six inches long and it's about the thickness of, at least the thickness of a pound corn, maybe a little bit thicker. And then they're just gonna fold over. Right, it's almost time to steam them. Now when you steam them, you need to put a little bit of parchment paper down. Now there's two ways that you can do this. Let me just show you both. So, take a bit of uh, grease proof, and then what you do is, is that fold it over once, fold it over twice, fold it over three times until you get a pointy edge where everything is folded in on itself and then take this and just put the center right to the middle of the steaming basket and then mark what the outside is and then just tear that around as much in a kind of circle motion and then what that does is is it creates a rough circle and then what you do is is you just create some tears in there so you're just creating some holes in there so that the, 
the hot steam can just pour through and then this fits into the back here. Now the other way you can do it is that you just cut out individual squares for each bow. This is kind of my preferred option because what it means is, is that you can just grab hold of the grease proof, put your bow on top, put it in the steamer and then you can pull that out with the bow when it steams. Right, so we're almost ready to steam. We've got our little piece of grease proof. We've got our beautiful rolled out dough. I place it on and then you fold it over and then you drop it in. Now a little tip to make your life easier, a little hack. Just get a little bit of that sunflower oil and just put the smallest amount, just a little rub over the bit that you're gonna fold and it will help it not to stick like that. And then let's get it in. Okay, so that's my timer. I've done those for eight minutes. Let's have a look at them. So you can just take the lid off straight away and then just look at these, like just beautiful, perfect pillows of loveliness. And you just can, oh, it's quite hot, but you just prise that open and they're steaming ready for your filling to go in there. Like how simple is that to do? Like these just took me Apart from the two hour prove, it's just dead simple. And you just take a little bit of time when you're rolling them out to get them nice and symmetrical. And then they're just perfect. You know, just look at those. Right, let's get the fillings in there. And that, my brothers and sisters, is my cherry coke pork belly gal bao. Absolutely flipping delicious. Oh my. Oh mate, it's just so good. Oh, 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 oh. That is like the culinary equivalent of like crystal meth with crack. That is addictive. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Steamed buns, done. Back of the net. Doing them was actually really, really simple and it just added to the whole thing. Like that as a snack or that as a meal in the evening, like just nobody's gonna complain. It was so good. Now the filling was my sweet cherry coke pork belly. It's absolutely delicious and the recipe is coming up now at the end of this video. What do you think of the recipe? What do you think of the video? Let me know in the comment box below. And if you're vibing on what I'm doing, then give us a subscribe and share the video if you like it. Right people, increase the peace and watch out for this Sunday's vid. See you later, boom.